guys. I wanted to uh, make this short video to do this pin unboxing with you. And uh, this is a pin that I searched for for a long time. And I was pretty excited to finally get it in the mail. Uh, it came from Germany. And it took quite a while to get to me. Maybe about a month. But, um, I've been looking for this pin for, like I said, quite some time, and I guess I just go ahead and tell you what it is. It is the, uh, Rotering Newton Mark II Copper, and, uh, this is a pin that actually is kind of hard to come by, um, even online there just doesn't seem to be a lot of pictures of it. And uh, I kind of have gotten really into the Rotaring brand there. Um, that's just to talk a little bit about them. Um, oh, interesting. Must have put it in an extra box that you had. Um, they're a company that was established in 1928. Did not know he's going to include gummy bears. That's kind of interesting. And um, they were first known for kind of a nibbless fountain pen that they made. And the name Rottering actually means red ring, which is a feature that they included on. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm not for sure what this is, um, but this is the guy that I ordered the pen from. Uh, yeah, so apparently this guy finds a lot of pins, uh, kind of going through stores and stuff, but anyways, um, yeah, I was just saying that rotting means red ring, and, um, that was a feature that they included on their pins, and, um, then in 1989, they started making the Rotaring 600, which was a, a fountain pen that had, um, hexagonal barrel and it was made to not roll off, off of people's desks um so around 2000 it was rebranded as the newton and then around 2005 they um remade the newton and made a mark ii version and this is the copper color of that that i'm getting ready to show you now so um why do I like this brand so much? Well, I guess number one, I do like metal pens, um, and the Rotaring 600 is a metal pen. I had one, um, I had a black Newton that um, was also a little bit hard to get. Uh, they do come up on eBay, but it's hard. You kind of have to watch the auctions to get a good price. Um, but, I had it and I, I unfortunately I lost it, but man, it, it wrote great. Um, it was it was just a a really great writer. It was a fun pen. I like the size, and so this pen um, is maybe what I'll say an updated version of that. And oh man, just getting a little peek of it, I'm I'm getting pretty excited here. Uh, he's really done kind of a, a job. Oh, here we go. Wrapping it up. Okay. So, this is the Rotaring Newton Mark II in the copper color. And so it's got that, that hexagonal barrel. And it's here's the red ring that Rotaring is kind of famous for. And all right, let's see, let's let's check this out. So, taking the cap off, it is a slip cap and pulled off with a fair amount of force, not too bad. Um, okay, right off the bat, you might notice that cap has got an angle to it. And actually, it, it is hard to find stuff about this pin. I saw a review somebody had written for this pen on the Fountain Pen Network, and um, 
they were not particularly fond of this pin. Um, and one, one of their major complaints was this angle of the way the cap meets together. Um, one thing I really like about that is the fact that number one, it makes it so the facets of the barrel and the cap always line up, which is nice. Um, but two, it makes sure that your nib and the uh, clip on the cap line up as well. So I kind of I kind of like that feature. Um, I will say I am noticing now, uh, and this was this was a kind of a complaint that he had that uh, there's a little bit of of kind of play here between the the cap and the and the body. Um, Actually, that's between this section and the body, and I'm wondering if, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. That's that's my bad, that's from me messing with it. So um, that's actually how, oh, that's very interesting. So um, I don't know if you saw what was going on there, but this unscrews the grip section so that it can come out of the, the body and then Let's see if I can get it started here. Oh, there we go. It's got to catch those those threads. So it pulls it back in tight. Huh, that is pretty cool. So now it's nice and snug. Okay, that makes me feel better for a second there. I was uh, getting a little nervous, but uh, yeah. So, man, that's, that's nice. And, uh, you know, it does have a plastic um, grip section. It's, it is on the narrower side. The nib is fairly small. Um, this is a medium nib. And one thing that the routering pins are kind of known for is just their ability to have a really great writing nib. And I'm planning on putting a cartridge in this uh, in a minute and doing a little writing sample for you. But from what I understand, this pin takes um, a short international cartridge which i'm really hoping i have one um i know i have some standard international cartridges i don't know if i have a short um or we're about to see here in a minute but uh anyways uh i had like i said i had the newton uh 600 and just loved it loved it um and so I guess I listened to the Pin Attic podcast. I think maybe that's where I heard this or or somewhere else, but somebody was talking about the uh, Newton Copper, and of course, I had never heard of that before, so I looked it up, and you can't find pictures of, of this online. There's not a lot, um, but when I saw it, I was like, oh man, that I want that pin, so... I basically set up a search on eBay and it took about six months and finally one morning I was getting ready for work and I got a I got a ding on the uh, on the phone saying that there has was one that was available and I snatched it up like right away because because uh, I knew they didn't come up very often I've been I have been looking for one for six months the guy that that listed this on eBay just said, um, it was his whole business is kind of finding pins and stuff in stores. Um, and he's kind of known for finding, uh, stuff that's not available anymore and posting it online. So anyways, I'm going to try to find a cartridge for this and, um, ink it up and do a little writing sample for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so quick writing sample. I did end up loading this guy up with a cartridge and I had a couple of converters laying around that I thought were um, gonna work and for whatever reason, they did not fit down inside of here. They got very tight. I know there is a cartridge that's branded specifically as a rotting cartridge and i i did have one for my 600 that i bought but it's like 11 dollars online and 
I'm pretty sure if I bought that, it would probably fit. I don't know if the tolerance is just slightly tighter. It supposedly fits a standard international cartridge, but a cartridge converter. So I'm not for sure really what's going on there, but I did put a cartridge in it that I had and that fit fine. So I don't know, maybe I just, I need to try a different one or something. But anyways, a quick writing sample. Um, So, thoughts about this pen. Uh, it writes very well. The nib is super smooth. There is a little bit of feedback. Um, the nib, the, because of the size of it, um, yeah, you can basically get zero flex out of it. Um, it's a pretty stiff steel nib. But that doesn't bother me. I mean, the ink flows really well out of it. I sometimes, I actually don't prefer just regular cartridges because I feel like sometimes I just don't get great ink flow out of them. But a cartridge in this pen works really, really well. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's just a black ink. I don't even know what the brand of the cartridge is, but it writes great. And I actually, um, between the filming of my last video and then this writing sample, I, um, I didn't use the pen for about a week and just left it capped and picked it back up again and literally just started writing and it wrote right away, which... I love, I mean, I kind of feel like all fountain pens should be like that, but as we know, some of them aren't. So anyways, um, yeah, thoughts about this pen. I absolutely love it. The color, the, the bronze copper, um, the lighting that I have it in here probably doesn't do it justice, but it's kind of that burnt orange rust color, which I love. Um, Kind of comparing it to a couple of other pens here. I have a Diplomat Arrow, which is another pen that I love. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have a hard time getting them to stay here. And let's see, I have a Kara's Custom uh, Decagraph, the AL Monsoon. And finally, I have a Opus 88 uh, demonstrator, which I did another video on. And you can see that, uh, of course, that is a pretty large pin. So the rotting is on the, on the narrower side. Like I said, the grip section, a little bit narrower, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice pin to carry around like in your pocket and uh, is, it doesn't take up a lot of room. So hope you guys enjoyed this, this review and uh, I'll talk to you later.